What's up YouTubers, it's Felicia here and I'm back with another video. So I wanted to do this video for all of the new beginners on YouTube like myself because I dealt with this making my first couple videos and it was so frustrating. So this is about storage and if you're using a Mac and using iMovie, there's something very important that you need to know about your storage. Um when making your movies because you will fill up your storage very very fast and I know I was trying to figure out where all my storage was going and I couldn't figure it out and like when you go to this Apple tab here and about this Mac you can go there and storage I have the Mac OS um, Sierra and I updated it once I had contacted Apple care so anyway normally you have an other tab right here um, but now when you update your computer, you don't. So I could not figure out for the life of me what the other tab meant. And I knew that it was taking up 90% of my storage. And also when I would go to clear out my computer and make a new video, my storage would be full again. So it wouldn't allow me to add anything to the videos nor download anything on my computer. So... Here's what you need to know. When you're using iMovie and you're making your movies and everything and you export everything in here, it basically makes a duplicate of the videos that you're using. So here, I've imported all my stuff. So this file is only 7 minutes and 48 seconds. But what you have to remember is this file contains every video that you used um, to put this video together. So one of my videos was 30, se 30 seconds and then another one of my videos was 30 minutes. So this right here of me taking down my hair was the 30 minute video. And even though I've only taken a couple minutes from it, it still shows, um, It's I mean it's still as if I'm using the whole 30 minute video. So this is where your storage is going, is making these videos. If you go here to all events, you can, you'll have most of your um, videos here or your projects that you're working on in your all events. Um, so when you go here, when you click this video, all the details of the video pop up. Look how much storage this video is taking. 25.55 gigabytes. That is a lot of storage. So that's what you have to be mindful of when you're doing this. If you have other videos in here that you've already completed, exported to a smaller file or to another hard drive or external hard drive, please remember to delete um, your files because I have the, the lower storage Mac. I only have 121 gigabytes on here. So if I keep all my files that I've made, so I've made three videos by now. That would be like 75 gigabytes right there just in those projects. So that's what you have to be mindful of. Delete it, delete it, and work on them one at a time if you can. For one, that'll help you finish one video and so you can move on to the next, but also it will allow you to have storage. So with that being said, I had to call Apple IT for this um, to figure out where that memory was. And you can see here that that's where it was going to those videos. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is how to delete these fi these files from the all events. So if you right click, you cannot delete it. There's no button here to delete, there's nothing. So what you have to do is click your file, make sure it's highlighted, and then you have to go to file and then delete. And then you would delete it at that point. But it says iMovie must contain at least one event. So it's going to stay. So I will just delete it when I start my new video. But yeah, so that's what you have to do to delete it. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. And I wanted to let you guys know because I'm a new to YouTube and I was having difficulties with this. And it was also discouraging me because I'm like, dang, do I have to delete everything off my computer to even make a video? And it was just too time consuming and it was frustrating and I didn't have any answers and when you Google it seems like everybody was looking up the other tab but it really wasn't saying anything and these videos because they're so huge they do fall into the other 
the other storage tab on your computer um, and not under the movie tab. So, yeah. So then also, I updated my computer to the Mac OS um, Sierra version. And what this does, it is allow you to see what actually is the other tab, which is really, really nice. It tells you how much each section is um, taking up in the applications. And so let's see if I can find my iMovie here. My iMovie library is taking up 27 gigabytes now because I've deleted everything else. But and then the theater is that much. And so within all of it, it's 25 of it is that one video. So imagine the app is only about four gigabytes in itself. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And one cool thing about the Sierra update, too, is it has Siri, which is right here. Um, and you can ask it anything. It's just like your phone. And I don't have an iPhone, but it is like what the iPhone does and then you have the tab down here where you can use it and just talk and it literally pops up with the answers on the side. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or leave a comment below and I will be glad to try to help you with um, this technology issue that I had. If you have a similar one, just hit me up. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to check out my other videos.